And here we go. Hey, welcome to September 12th, 2024. My name is Kurt, and this is my daily Good Life Meditation. It's an exercise that I do every morning, a little bit after waking up, uh, to remember my life objectives and principles, those which are outlined in my book, Going Alone. I also use the time to think about the last 24 hours and how I did with the challenges and the opportunities that I met. I uh, plan for the coming day, and then I ready myself for death. Today I'm doing things a little bit different because I finally figured out the problem with my Rode wireless mic. I have had it backwards. I was plugging the receiver or the transmitter into the phone and the receiver into hanging it on my lapel here, which was wrong. Now I got it figured out. I'm back in business. So I can set this up in my little tiny house and go about a little bit of my business while I do this because it's getting darker day by day. Um, and uh, the, the night is hanging on longer, and uh, I, it's, uh, it's time for me to be getting ready for work, so I can't be fussing about outside right now. Rudy didn't eat all of his meal, the white dog Rudy, so I'm putting some of it in here for his dinner later. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my breakfast while I talk to you. Um, yesterday I made a video talking about my diet, where I said I basically eat a handful and a half of salad, which is largely true for lunch and dinner these days, coupled with a, a can of sardines. I, th I like to throw in a couple of olives, a few artichoke hearts, maybe a, a, a handful or two of, uh, of trail mix, but it's not, not the sugary type, very uh, uh, just the raw trail mix style. Um, oh, and I do have a slice of cheese now that I'm living the, the single man life. And I splurge every week when I go to, uh, or every two weeks, depending on how the cheese goes. When I go to Trader Joe's and I'll go to their gourmet cheese section, I'll buy myself a, a big block of Gouda or, or, or Brie or whatever. You know, I don't even know what these cheeses are. And um, I'll show you what I'm eating right now. It's this block of, what is this? Asiago cheese with rosemary and olive oil. So, so I'll be, I buy a big block like that. Sorry, it's so dark. And then I'll, um, I'll cut off slices. And I have a little box of crackers. And I'll have a cheese, cheese and crackers. That's my luxury, <laughs> so to speak, uh, through the week. What I'm basically trying to do is feed myself very little and feed myself very good. Um, and the result is that I'm losing weight. I'm feeling fit. Um, I'm eating so much less. But I did mislead in so far as telling you what my diet is, I do have uh, a bowl of oatmeal every morning for breakfast. I have my Quaker Oats down here, and what I typically do is uh, I give myself a uh, scoop from this ladle, a level scoop. Then I toss in handful, lots of handfuls of things in my life these days of top, of seedless raisins, and then I uh, put it water. I don't measure anything except for the handful and the ladle, some water, and then I'll get my bowl out for my breakfast, and then I have my little. I keep one tiny spoon. I carried this little tiny spoon with me from my old life. This is my spoon for everything. And I'll stir this up and let it soak for a moment, a minute or two, just long enough to, for me to do this video. So I'll pop it in the microwave for about three minutes, three and a half minutes, and I'm good to go. And then I'll have my breakfast. So anyway, last night and yesterday. Slept, slept very good last night. It seemed like I'm saying that every time. It was cold. I like sleeping on cold nights. So I was all snuggled up with the one dog, Ollie, the one that you can see, the black dog here. He liked to climb into the bed with me. Rudy still likes to sleep outside. He likes to keep an eye on things. So I've got to, every night before he beds down, I adjust his crate so that it's nice and comfy with big, lots of cushy blankets in there. And then I drape a towel over the three corners of the crate so he can peek out one edge and be nice and cozy. Sometimes I can hear him growling at whatever he senses out there in the dark. He's totally safe in that little cage. Nothing can get to him. Um, but uh, he's out there doing his little guard dog thing. Eventually, it'll, it'll get cold enough, and I'll close the door and not let him do that anymore. And if he ran into any trouble, I'm literally three or four steps away. I could pop out of bed, and I sleep. This is my bed right here. 
it's not very well made. <laughs> the bed of this tiny home is upstairs, but I don't sleep up there, so I can be closer to my dog. I sleep on the sofa here every night. So I slept well last night. Yesterday was a very good and productive day. I attended uh, three meetings. I was productive through as much as productive as I could be through those meetings. I was given yesterday in the late afternoon a, a project, uh, a very simple project, uh, just to manage project manage the an open house event for a, a unit where I work. Um, nothing really hard is coming my way. I've let everybody know at work that I am available to help. Um, I think they've given me all that they can. I have 56 days, uh, working days left. There's not much that I can be given that I can facilitate at uh, in 56 days, except maybe an open house or two, <laughs> things like that. Um, I find myself now at during my work hours when I don't have things to do to not be feeling guilty. I am close enough to the end now that it's like, well, okay, well, this is my life that's coming up. Um, I will I be, be comfortable with that. And I just, I, I literally will sit here with my shirt on in attendance, um, you know, sorting through email, doing various things. I still haven't been able to get to the point of watching YouTube or, or Netflix or anything like that. I just feel guilty about that kind of stuff. It doesn't feel right to be watching Netflix if I'm getting paid, but I will I sort of keep myself busy throughout the day. I love it when I have things to do. Like yesterday, I did get um, a, compl a kind of a complicated assignment. It was a, it was, I, I gave it to myself, <laughs> uh, and it occupied most of the afternoon. And I really enjoyed it, and I really felt good at the end of the day because I did it. Oh, and then I got a call from a manager after hours. I had already completed my work day, and uh, I just jumped right to it, snapped to it, threw my work shirt back on, set up my computer, and we had a good meeting. So I think it's coming through. And I think everybody can see it. I'm like that annoyingly pleasant guy at work because nothing can get me now. I'm beyond the stress. It's a strange feeling. And I know that it's going to be like a vacuum when I'm gone. And I'm st I'm no longer working, and then I'm in my own world, and I will. There's there's a danger in missing this responsibility and not having it. I know that. That that can come back and this very thing that I'm enjoying right now can come back to be a, a dangerous thing later. Hmm. I think I'm ready for it. Okay. Um, the creed consists of eight objectives. These are one. To be always ready to die. That means I need to have my affairs in order, my relationship sound, and my life works complete. Two, to make good and effective use of time, not to waste my days. Three, to develop and maintain good and sound life principles. Number four, to cultivate good emotional reactions. Number five, to perform good actions. Number six, to recognize my true limits and my true opportunities. And number seven, to do just one thing at a time and do that thing slowly and deliberately and carefully. Hmm. What do I do today? Well, I've already laid out my list. I've got a, I keep a, a checklist. I'll show you. On this pad of paper here, I know it's hard to see. And on this side over here is the me side, and this is the, this is the work side, and this is the me side. <laughs> so, this is the stuff I have to do for work. This is the stuff I have to do for me. I slip in the me stuff during my breaks and at lunch uh, and then after work. And uh, I have three meetings, uh, some documents to prepare, uh, a new Teams uh, site to set up for this, uh, this um, open house thing I'm going to work on, et cetera, et cetera. I plan to do my laps, to take the dogs for a good walk, and just to have a good day to endeavor to make the best that I can of the day. Finally, am I ready to die today if today's the end? Well, I don't think I have any sour words with anybody. There's no nothing nothing to fix. All the documents are in order and in place. Yumiko is safe if I die. And my life's work is done. Yeah. Alright, I'll stop then. And I'll wish you all the best. Be safe, but not too safe. It's time to start my meal. <laughs>